lesson we're going to learn um, what all the different parts of a simple Arduino program do. We're going to look at the simplest sketch uh, pretty much that you can make with an Arduino. All it does is blink an LED. And we're going to go through the sketch and we're going to look at every single aspect of that code and learn about it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we pulled up the blink sketch. Let's take a look at it. Well, um, starting at the beginning, we see a slash and an asterisk with some text after it, followed by another asterisk and a slash. I mentioned uh, in a previous lesson about commenting. This is an example of it. Um, everything between those two slash, slashes and asterisks will not be read by the Arduino as if it were code. It was just ignored. So this gives us an opportunity to explain what's going on. Turns on an LED for one second, then off for one second repeatedly. Um, that's kind of explaining what it does. All right, let's keep going. Uh, then we see two, thing, two lines that have double slashes at the beginning of them. Those are also comments. The difference is that um, when you have a whole block of text that you want to turn into a comment, you use the slash asterisk at the beginning of it and asterisk slash at the end of it uh, in order to let it know that this block of text is a comment. However, um, this next way of doing it with two slashes just comments that one line. That's why you need two sets of slashes to, um, to comment both of those lines. Okay, so we have more comments. Pin 13 has an LED connected on most Arduino boards. As I mentioned in the previous lesson, there is a LED that flashes on the, on the, on the Arduino and you don't actually need to use a separate LED in pin 13. So that's just explaining that, that aspect. All right, the second line there, give it a name. Uh, it says INT LED equals 13 semicolon. Let's look at that. Well, INT is short for integer. And as you can see, um, it's, it's done in kind of this brownish color or orange. That, that is letting you know that it is an official term used in Arduino sketches. Um, the LED, it could be anything. You're naming that LED um, at that point. You could, be, you could call it Timothy. INT Timothy equals 13 semicolon. Um, but in this case, you're giving it an obvious name of LED because it is an LED. All right. Um, and then... Uh, and then we have equals 13. 13 refers to the pin number. You're basically saying um, there's a thing, which we're going to call LED, that is going to be connected to pin 13. It ends with a semicolon, and that's how you end every line in the Arduino world, pretty much. If you look down um, the code, you can see semicolons all over the place. Um, you will you will nearly always have a semicolon on the end of on the end of a line, or more accurately, on the end of a function, which is what you call um, the little parts of a program that do things. All right. Another comment: the setup routine runs once when you press reset. Um, so there are two main parts of an Arduino sketch. Speaking very broadly, there is the setup and the loop. The setup are things that run once when the sketch is run and the loop, everything within the loop runs repeatedly after the setup has run. Sometimes there won't be anything in setup and sometimes there won't be anything in loop but typically you'll have stuff in both. The setup is where you you list out your variables and the loop is where you do the work. Alright so in this case Initialize the digital pin as an output is a comment under void setup. Uh, so basically what we're doing here is telling the Arduino that pin 13 is going to do something. 
We've already named it LED. Now we need it for it to do something. And in this case, we're setting it up for output. So obviously, the counterpoint to output is input. Input. If you have a sensor or a button or something else that is going to send information to the Arduino, you want to have the pin set up for input. If it's going to do something, for instance, run a motor or turn on the LED, then it needs to be set up for output. Another thing to look at under void setup here is you have these brackets here. Functions are always contained within brackets, and the Arduino won't upload, or the sketch won't upload to the Arduino if you have your brackets messed up, so be very careful with that. Alright, let's keep going. The loop routine runs over and over again forever. Um, okay, well we already described what a loop is. Basically, as mentioned, everything within the loop runs repeatedly unless some kind of logic within the sketch tells it not to anymore. Um, and, and in this case we have digital write LED high um, as the first thing within that loop. Well, we already know what LED is. That is the thing plugged into pin 13, which happens to be an LED. Um, so what is this digital write? Well, basically that's an instruction to um, send some kind of information out of that pin. As you recall, we had it set up for output. So when you write something um, towards a pin that's been set up for output, you say digital write. If it's a sensor and you want to read what it says, it's a, um, you use digital read instead. All right, and then the high aspect is talking about voltage here. What we're saying is, let us send voltage to pin 13, um, and, and the opposite of that is low. We're telling them to the Arduino to turn off the voltage to pin 13 here. Uh, all that's left here is this delay. Delay 1000 semicolon. Um, this is in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is a second. So what this sketch is going to do is it is going to um, turn on an LED for one second and then turn it off again for one second. That's pretty much it. Next, I want to show you a very simple way to debug a sketch. All right, is um, it uses the serial monitor. Um, going to the entry on Arduino.cc um, called Begin, um, we have an example here of Serial Begin 9600, um, and that activates the serial connection between the Arduino and the computer. And you have to run this with the um, you have to run this with the computer and Arduino connected with a USB cable. All right, so I'm going to paste that in. Serial begin 9600, um, and then I'm going to say something. Um, so I'm going to take this serial print line, and I'm going to add it into the loop before the first delay. Okay, so instead of hello computer, I'm going to say turning LED on. Let's copy that and put it below the sec or in front of the second delay. Turning LED off. Um, what we'll do is plug the Arduino in and send this new code to the Arduino and then we'll be able to um, see on the serial monitor when the, um, our, uh, when the LED turns on and off. Okay, so let's plug in the Arduino and send the code. Alright, we're compiling. Okay, we're, we're uploaded now. Now, let us see, we're going to go to the serial monitor. There, now you can see what's going on in the program. You've got 
the LED turning on and off every second and you can monitor it the whole time. Seriously guys, the serial monitor is the best way to find out what's going on inside your Arduino because you simply add these little statements as each step of the program goes. And then as long as you're connected to it with the USB cable, you can monitor what's going on in the program and figure out if something is going wrong, why it's going wrong. Well, that's it. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to investigate how to use a button, a, pun a potentiometer, which is kind of like a dimmer, and a light sensor to control an LED.